Hi guys, I'm Diwa, and today is a special day because we are here to answer a very, very big question. A question that's been long-standing and a struggle for many riders in Singapore. And that is whether to get the Polygon Stratos or the Polygon Helios. What we have today are two very interesting bikes in our opinion, and that is the Polygon Stratos S8D as well as first seen on our channel, that is the Polygon Helios A7X. Hopefully after this video, you'll be able to know which bike is most suitable for you. And do remember to stay till the end because we have prepared some special promo for you. When I'm on this Polygon Helios A7X, the handling is like an extension of myself. It responds to my slightest input with precision and agility. Now, even cornering feels effortless. With Shimano Di2, shifting is quick and reliable. Now, whether I'm on a wide open route or a winding uphill, the bike maintains its stability and giving me the confidence to push my limits. Riding the Helios feel like cutting through the wind. Its aerodynamic design minimizes drag, allowing me to maintain higher speed with less effort. As I tuck into the drops and pick up the pace, I can feel the bike slicing through the wind, maximizing efficiency and propelling me forward with every pedal stroke. The geometry of the Polygon Helio strikes the perfect balance between comfort and performance. It is aggressive yet comfortable. Now you can push hard or go for long endurance ride. This is perfect for race. In terms of the performance, the Polygon Helios is a true standout. Its lightweight frame, responsive handling, aerodynamic design, and comfortable geometry combine to deliver an accelerating ride that exceeds expectations. Also, it is race proven by Team TSG, a UCI Continental race team. Riding the Polygon Stratos SAD is a delight when it comes to handling. The bike responds promptly to my inputs, making cornering and navigating through traffic feels effortless. Its stable and predictable nature gives me the confidence to push hard. Whether I'm sprinting or descending, no matter the road condition, the SAD remains composed and easy to control. The geometry of the SAD strikes a perfect balance between comfort and performance. Its endurance-oriented design keeps me in a comfortable riding position, reducing strain on my back and neck during long rides. I am impressed by the reliability and performance of the components on this SAD. The Shimano Altegra drivetrain shifts smoothly and precisely it ensures that I'm always on the right gear for the right terrain and the brakes offer consistent and responsive stopping power. It really instills confidence during descent and sudden stops. Well, if comfort is a priority during your ride, then the Polygon Stratos SAD definitely delivers. The frame geometry alongside with features like carbon fork really helps to absorb root vibrations and reducing fatigue on long rides. You can ride for hours on this bike.
We're done with the ride today and it's woof! I mean, it brings back memories of uh, me riding these two bikes. So I'm going to tell you more about these two bikes. Uh, we have selected the Polygon Structors SAD as well as the Polygon Helios A7X. I'm going to tell you why we chose them. Uh, starting with the Stratos SAD. In the Stratos family, the Stratos SAD is the top of the family because it comes with a carbon fiber frame, the ACX all round carbon fiber, as well as a carbon fiber fork, and it's fitted with Shimano's Altegra R8020 2 by 11 speed mechanical group set, and it's a full hydraulic this group set. For the wheel sets, it's actually Entity's alloy wheels. As for the tyre, it's the Suave 1 728C tyre and both the tyre as well as the wheel set are tubeless ready. But other than this, you can see that the seat post, the handlebar, the stem, they are all alloy. Now, it is going at a crazy price of 2599 Singapore dollars. Now that is a really crazy price for a all-round carbon road bike. Now I think the SAD is a bike for many purposes. Now all the way from people who have just started cycling or people who are transiting from an alloy road bike to a carbon road bike to people who only do weekend cycling to people who enjoy long-distance cycling, cafe rides, endurance rides and even for people who want to do some race once in a while, now this is the go-to bike because it has got a very good quality carbon frame and it's got a comfortable geometry and it's UCI approved with a high performance and reliable group set. Also the ultimate question and that is if you do not want to spend too much, if you're on a tight budget, then this bike I think it's one of the best options in the market right now. I mean, for 2599 I cannot say how affordable this bike is already is and how much value you're getting out of it. Okay, so next, let's take a look at the Helios A7X. All right, so we have got the Helios A7X here. Now, the price of this bike right now is 4299 Singapore dollars. And for that, what you are getting is the ACX Performance UCI approved carbon fiber frame as well as the carbon fiber fork. And it's fitted with Shimano's DI2 105 2x12 speed electronic group set. Now, as for the wheel set, it's Entity's WR500. And together with the Swabe 1728C tire, both are tubeless ready setup. Here we're getting a carbon fiber seat post and a one piece carbon fiber handlebar by Black Tech. Now, for those of you who are, who are not aware, this is the same frame that is used by the UCI Continental Race Team, Team TSG. The reason that we have chosen the Helios A7X today is because it is a high performance race bike. And for that reason, you should enjoy it with a electronic shifting system to get the best out of it. These smooth and seamless shiftings will definitely help you to better your performance. And well, we have got a Shimano 105. It's really good group set. I think it doesn't really lose out to the Altegra that much except that it's slightly heavier than the Shimano Altegra Di2. This bike is for people who really crave for performance because as I have told you earlier, this is a high performance race bike and it's race proven. So be, whether you are really going into races doesn't really matter, but as long as you're the kind of rider who enjoys pure speed and enjoy giving it all out and whacking as hard as you can, getting the highest and best performance out of yourself, this is a very good bike because it can go really fast on flats and it can also climb very well. So it is a very all-round race bike. However, if you have just started cycling, maybe I, would, I wouldn't recommend this bike to you yet because the geometry is kind of aggressive. So for seasoned rider, 
you will enjoy and you will definitely be able to take it. But for a beginner, this may be too harsh for you. Now, I just want to reiterate this point and that for the price of $4,299, you are getting a race proven high quality carbon fiber frame and carbon wheel set electronic shifting system. I think this is really a steal. And again, this is what we are so proud of Polygon for always delivering you know, high quality, high performance bikes at a very, or in fact, at the most affordable price that they can afford to give. And while I think it's hard to find any other brands that's offering such a competitive pricing for the very, the kind of components that we're getting here. Now back to the question that I posted to myself at the start of the video, which bike would I choose? Now the first question that I'll ask myself is, what is my budget? Now if I have a budget constraint, then I will only I will go for the Stratos SAD because well this bike is a do or I mean it's an all rounder you can do a lot of things in fact any things with it you can go for your a different type of rides as well as race on it. But if I can afford and I have the budget, then I will definitely go for the Helios A7X. I mean if I buy this bike, it's going to last me and make me happy for a very long time. That is just me, I can be biased. Brian, how about you? Which one will you choose? <laughs> now here's the good news. For a limited time, from now until 11 April, if you use our promo code to purchase the Stratos SAD or the Helios family, you're gonna get some more goodies. Now if you are getting a Polygon Stratos bike, you will get a bare weather cycling kit that includes the jersey, shorts, socks, as well as gloves. As for Helios A7X and AXX, you will get, wow, are you kidding me? You are getting the Shimano RC903 cycling shoes. Whoa. And if you're getting the Polygon A9X, you will get the shoes, the RC903 shoes, plus one-time full servicing, as well as a Giro Helios spherical helmet. Ooh, wow, that is a really crazy, crazy promo, guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope that we make you more informed and help you make the best decision to which bike is most suitable for you.